What's up Halloweenies? Today we're going to learn how to make cute vector ghosts in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. I'm just going to go to File, New, and Illustrator. Let's name this Ghost. Uh, for the width and the height, I'm going to choose 1000 by 1000 pixels. You can change your units here. And for everything else, I'll keep default. Let's keep RGB. Yeah, just hit Create. Okay, to uh, have your workspace look like mine, uh, you can go to Window, Workspace, and Essentials Classic. I'm just going to reset mine just so it looks the same. Okay, um, so yeah, this is what we want. Uh, I'm going to keep my white stroke and black fill. And let's just create the uh, the head of the ghost right now. So let's click down on this uh, shape drop down menu. Just click and hold. And I want to go to the ellipse tool. You can also just hit L on your keyboard. And now um, I just want to click somewhere. Um, I'm not going to draw the uh, circle. I just want to click so this dialog box comes up. Uh, make sure you are unconstrained. And yeah, we want to keep those. Uh, dimensions 400 pixels by 400 pixels and hit OK. All right, let's just send us to a random part of the artboard. So let's uh, center us up. Um, go here to the align panel. You can also go to window align. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm aligned to the artboard instead of the selection. And yeah, let's just hit the horizontal and vertical center. Okay, so it should look like that. Uh, now I want to go back to our, our uh, shape drop down and let's go to the rectangle tool. You can hit M on your keyboard. And the same thing, I just want to click inside of our artboard somewhere. And uh, yeah, I want to keep these dimensions. Uh, 400 for the width and 200 for the height. Let's click OK. And now um, let's go to the selection tool. I kind of want this aligned to the bottom of our circle. So let's just click and drag to highlight both of them. And now I'm going to click the circle again, and that's going to make it a key object. So now when we hit the align, um, our circle is not going to move. Our square is going to move around it. So let's hit the horizontal center, and let's hit the vertical align bottom. I don't know why I said it like that, bottom. <laughs> All right, so your shape should look like this. Um, so now I want to click the circle and I just want to hit command C and command V to do a copy paste and now I want to go here to the transform panel and we're gonna kinda of create like the bottom shapes of our like ghost like cloth um, whatever thing you know what I mean um, so let's go here we do want to make sure that this one is constrained um, so make sure this uh, chain link is uh, what you see and let's go to the width, and we can hit slash 6, so it's going to divide 400 by 6. It's going to create our devil number here, so it did the math for us. And uh, now we want to align this to the, uh, the bottom here, but we're not going to use our align panel. We're just going to drag it. Um, first, uh, make sure that you go to view and your smart guides are on. That's important for this. And I'm just going to drag it to the edge here until you see that like uh, magenta cross intersection uh, shape. That means we're aligned to the center and yeah, we're aligned to the edge as well. So the center of our circle is on the bottom right ed or bottom left edge of this rectangle shape. Okay? Now we want to duplicate the shape across the whole the whole bottom. So let's uh, still with our uh, circle shape uh, selected, hold the Option key so you see this double icon. Click and drag out while holding Shift until you see this intersect uh, cross uh, magenta shape again. Leave it there, but we want to duplicate that across the entire bottom. So let's go to Object, Transform, and Transform again. That's Command D on your keyboard. So, and that's going to duplicate the last transform. That's, so it's going to copy and move it. So let's hit Command D a few more times until it goes all the way to the edge here. 
Now, if you look, yeah, everything's perfectly aligned. And yeah, we didn't have to use the align panel for the bottom section. Okay, so now we want to unite all of these shapes. So let's highlight everything using the selection tool. And let's go to the Pathfinder panel and hit Unite. So now we have this uh, cute little ghost shape. Uh, I'm going to highlight it and uh, just bump up our stroke. Let's go thick. Let's go to about 20. And uh, I don't like how these uh, little bottom corners are just flat here. So let's click the stroke panel and let's go to the corner and hit a round join. That's going to create, yeah, the little round shapes up top. All right, that's a much cuter look to start with. So, uh, yeah, that's what we want to see. Uh, now we want to create the eyes. So let's go back to our ellipse tool. I'm just going to hold shift and click and drag. Make some big eye shapes. Um, I don't want I don't want the black stroke and the uh, white center. I just want a black circle. So let's uh yeah go here. We can swap that fill and stroke. Let's go to the stroke and just hit none. So yeah. So now we have one eye. And I just want to copy that shape. So I'm going to highlight it and hold Option. Click and drag. I'm going to hold Shift. Yeah. Just drag it out, kind of like that. A cute little ghost shape. Um, now I want to create just kind of like some shadows, some other little shapes to uh, bring it out a little bit more. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to do this kind of rough. I'm going to go with the uh, pencil tool, actually. You can hit N on your keyboard. And I just want to create kind of like a shadow up here. Uh, but I want it kind of loose, so I'm just going to kind of follow this circle. And I'm going to stop here. And I'm just going to kind of do some squiggles. And go back up to the circle until you see that circle icon come up beside the pencil. And yeah, um, that's going to create a shape for us. Um, let's go here to the uh, color picker. Let's just pick some light blue. Something like that. And let's swap that stroke to a fill. So it looks like this. Okay, it's a cute little shape. Um, now I want to create some similar shapes in the bottom of these circles, but I'm going to do a little bit simpler. I'm going to go to the uh, circle tool or the ellipse tool using L with the keyboard. I'm just going to draw some loose circles down here just like that. And I'm going to draw another loose circle on top of it and kind of like leaning off to the top right like this. Now I'm going to use the selection tool to select both of them. And I'm going to go to the Pathfinder panel again and go to subtract or minus front. So now we have this little kind of like moon shape that's a little shadow in the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy these to the rest of the uh, circular shapes at the bottom. Uh, with it selected, I'm going to highlight it, click and drag holding shift. Let's pull it to about there. And yeah, I'm going to hit command D to just, uh, yeah, make them go to the rest of the shapes. Yeah, that looks really cute. Um, so yeah, that's a cute little ghost character. Let's uh, play with it a little bit more just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, we can go to the ellipse shape here. Pull them a little shadow. Yeah, pull that ellipse. Let's go to effect. Blur. Gaussian blur. Turn it to about 50 pixels or something. Yeah, now he's got a cute little shadow. If you want, you can turn that black or a different color. Um, I kind of liked it blue. And yeah, um, you know, we can kind of play with the shape of the eyes too, to uh, you know, to have a little bit of fun. Um, let's go with the uh, pen tool here. We're just gonna draw kind of like some angry eyes looking shapes, just kind of like a V on top of the eyes. And yeah, let's uh highlight both of these shapes and yeah we'll hit oh where'd my pathfinder panel go let's go back to window and pathfinder and yeah let's hit minus front I don't know how those got out let's put them here there we go it kinda looks like the rock right now he's doing like a eyebrow thing so let's uh let's delete that 
let's highlight this circular shape. Let's go to Object, Transform, and Reflect. And yeah, let's do Vertical, and we'll hit Copy. Just pull that shape out here. Now he's like a little angry ghost. It's kind of fun. And yeah, you can kind of play around a little bit too. I'm going to go back to the pencil tool. Let's, let's just hit red. I just want a red fill. Yeah, let's draw kind of a loose little chevron shape here. Click back that red. Another red there. Yeah, I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Yeah, create a little copy of that shape. Put it there. Yeah, let's go to the Ellipse tool now. Create a little circle. Let's make it black. Now let's just use uh, the Option key pull down another little circle. Let's hit Command D to do it two more times. Now let's highlight all of them and Option. Click and pull it out to the side like that. Now we have a cute little Jason ghost. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the tutorial he here. This was uh, yeah, just a fun little uh, vector uh, illustration tutorial. Make some icons, make some empty states, or just uh, you know, a cute little design for a card or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, gonna try to make some more Halloween-based uh, design tutorials for this month. So uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, bye everyone.